Uh, so one of the things that does happen a lot, especially with bananas, is when people go to grab the banana that they want, they tear them and this is a collateral damage. So what we do is we take, and you can see here, just give it a little clean, maybe chop that. And then this goes in here and we sell them as a frozen banana for people's smoothies or breakfast. A big one for us was being able to keep prices down and be competitive. So by working on lowering the cost of food waste, you can eliminate that cost out of your business and then pass it on to the customers. And as well, because we are a new, a new business, a new supermarket, we can incorporate these practices in from the very start rather than trying to reverse engineer it and add it in. Everything you see, we can repurpose from the day before. So one thing we do is we create um, daily blends of juices, green, orange. We also have salads and rice paper rolls. We get a lot of vegetables that aren't perfect for the shelves. So we just simply, and this isn't anything groundbreaking, <laughs> but we... and we just juice them up. We make freshly squeezed juices every day and we sell them at affordable prices so we can just move the product. Okay, so once we've made the juice, we label it, we put it on the shelves and we sell it. The next thing we do is we take all the pulp from the juice and we dehydrate it. We dehydrate it, we make a stock powder out of it. So this can go in people's smoothies as an addition, it can go in their breakfast as a topper, or it can go in stock, depending on the vegetable, uh, into their soups, their broths, their sauces, anything. So it's really, it's a, it's a byproduct of a repurposed food. So we're using it three times now. So that's a zero food waste solution. Repurposing something that would be going to waste is um, uh, something that we all need to do. Humanity is wasting a lot. Like in the developing countries, we have uh, around 310 billion foot waste. And uh, in the developed world, which Australia belongs to, we are wasting double this amount, even more than double this amount, which is uh, 680 billion American dollars. Uh, so this is like uh, huge, that, uh, and predominantly, this is uh, because of our diet, wasteful diet. I think it's wonderful. I think all stores should try and incorporate that. I'm trying to do it myself at home and it's really difficult, but um, yeah, it makes me want to shop here more, get more things from, from here if I can. It's a great idea. We like to our waste for our house. <laughs> I have three staff members. We come here every day to buy the fresh sandwiches. Uh, you know, we know that whatever's no longer going to be saleable from the shelves is going to go into the sandwiches. We've come back every day since they've been opened, so they're good. My workplace has no tap. We have no, we've been buying water for set for seven years. So now they've just said, come and get free water. It's great, it's really good. Yes.
Uh, we've done the figures on the first three months and we found that all the repurposed foods that we're putting back in the shop or back in the restaurants, uh, it's representing about 15 to 20% of our uh, overall turnover. So we're really happy with that. So cauliflower leaves, most people cut those off and, and put them in the bin. Same with kale stalks, but there's lots of nutrition in those. So if we can study and kind of nail down the, the benefits and yeah, different ways that we can offer them to customers. If they can combine this with educational components, like uh, uh, teaching people how to cook from scratch, especially vegan and vegetarian food, this will be wonderful. The humanity is at the stack to learn how to continue eating smarter, not how to continue thinking of creating more food, different food, something that we don't need to eat. We have plenty of varieties, we have plenty of food that we can sustain this uh, earth. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.